you've got survivors, which I, I like a lot because this really enables if someone's D D curious or Ravenloft curious, this allows people to just jump in in like 10 minutes. And that combined with the tables that we're seeing in Ravenloft for like creating a domain lord really quick or creating an entire domain very quick or these little vignette domains as well. I'm, I'm a huge fan, obviously, of, of the Writer's Bridge and uh, the Lightning Rail and, and all these little, you know, transient Ravenloft domains within domains. But yeah. it, there's no reason that you can't just jump into Ravenloft, even if you've not played D&D. Um, before immediately quickly because of like the survivor system. Absolutely. So for folks who haven't checked it out yet, the survivor system is a riff on the sidekicks that we've seen in like the essentials kit and whatnot, where it's like, here, look, you have a little helper stat block and they're going to be along with you. And this is something that maybe you run on the side, or this is something that maybe a friend who's just there for the night or something runs or whatever have you, but highly versatile, but also, you know, not all the complexity of a full on character and often, you know, a, a little lower level in, in power. Um, it's a great system, but with the other, like the, the way that we've taken it with the survivor system is spinning it in a way where it's like, all right, one of the, one of the best things that you see in horror movies um, is, is the tragedy is the, it's are the characters who like in some cases just don't make it. Um, that doesn't work as well when it's a character that you've invested 10 years into playing. Like, if, like, you, as a DM, the shock value of being like, you've been playing that 10, that 10 year old character, but I'm introducing Strahd, so bam, they're dead. Um, that's not cool. Um, <laughs> so, what the, the survivors do a couple of different things here. It's set up as an option, and you can use them in a couple of different ways. Um, the intention is these are simple, high highly customizable, highly versatile characters. Um, there's four stat blocks for them that hit some of the major D&D archetypes, but the idea is use these for a one-off or maybe a two session game. They're low power and maybe you're playing them as constables at an investigation or attendees at a ball or something or, or whatever the scenario is, but they're not slinging fireballs and they're not hyper capable so they might experience this horror moment and have to deal with it in the same way that a low powered character would that in and of itself can be a really fun one-off horror experience but some of the other things that you can do if you want to get creative with it is the mists of ravenloft are notorious for picking up folks from other worlds and dropping them into ravenloft but that doesn't need to be bodily Maybe it's a matter of just your, your consciousness gets plucked out and put into somebody, put into this horror experience. And then your one-off is now you're having this much, this horror, this horror adventure. And at the end, if, you know, dire things unfold, it's not like your 10 year old character just, just bit it for, for a one shot. Um, this also provides us the opportunity for stories like ghost stories or to, um, to explore the backgrounds of dark lords where maybe you're a participant in these adventures, seeing them firsthand, experiencing these horrors and tragedies. And then you go back to your other character with now your players having the knowledge of, oh, I understand mm. what happened and what the stakes are. That's fantastic. and. Uh, I I, li I like the interesting hook of like, yeah. E either you get a a secondary look at your story of your main character story from an outsider's perspective of, as almost NPCs for a particular moment, which is nice to revisit, or like having your psyche in another body. Obviously, this works very well for like Lamordia, Blutspur sure. makes a lot of sense as well. Yeah. Um, uh, anything with a little bit of cosmic horror, a little bit of body horror, uh, uh, I, I find that very in, uh, enchanting uh, as an idea to, to visit. And e each of these survivors also have kind of talents that sort of speak to kind of the larger version of D&D &D that people can yeah. play. Yeah, so, absolutely. 
so we got things like magical talent and we've got adrenaline surge stuff like that correct yep absolutely there all elements where you're probably not going to be with these characters long but maybe they go up a level or two and in the course of that as they advance they advance in ways that are appropriate to a horror story. So maybe they can scream and that'll allow them to escape a condition. Um, it's something that makes them better survivors. Right. Um, <laughs> but, you know, they are disposable is such a strong word. I'm sure plenty of survivors will make it through just fine. If you want to watch more videos on Ven Richten's Guide to Ravenloft, we've got a whole lot more coming up. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can check out the Amazon affiliate link in the description and purchase the book or just like, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, leave some comments down below. I love talking about Ravenloft, so I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching.